adventure in Cars Land and check out this water wheel behind me. It's made of caution cones and there's a caution cone fountain that's filling up each caution cone, making the water wheel go around and around. This is gonna be like the project we get to do today. It's gonna be awesome, let's go. That was a really fun trip, wasn't it, Ella? Yeah, it was super fun. Yeah, we love Cars Land, too. Mm -hmm. Well, today, the project we're making is not made out of caution cones or tires or anything like that. <laughs> but let's see what we do have in our kit. We have two styrofoam plates, one wooden skewer, six plastic cups, and, and a roll of tape. And this isn't just any kind of tape, Ella. This is duct tape. And the reason duct tape is so good for this project is because it's water resistant. The tape will keep working even when it gets wet. Isn't that cool? Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So that's why we needed this special kind of tape today to make our water wheel. On top of everything in your kit today, all you're going to need is a pair of scissors to cut your duct tape and a pen or a marker to mark our place where we're going to put our cups. And then we're ready to get started. So our water wheel is going to look like this today. We have the plates on the outside, that'll be our wheel. And then our cups on the inside, those will be our paddles. So every water wheel needs some sort of paddle or bucket or scoop or a cup so that the water can go in. And then what does it do? It goes around. That's right, the water goes in and it makes this cup heavy and it spins it around and it keeps doing that for every cup, keeps making it heavy and it spins around and around and around. And there's nothing that's actually like, like spinning it, only the, only the water. Only the water. This was like the first, some of the first technology that was ever used to make energy. So you know how we have energy, just like we can turn on a light or plug something in and we have electricity and, it, and things just work? Well, it wasn't always like that. So they had to create energy in other ways. And this is one of the ways they were able to create energy was with a water wheel. So right here, we're gonna do a dot. Maybe use your skewer so that you can line it up exactly across. I'm gonna put another dot. Go right through that recycling logo in the in the back because that way you know that it's in the middle. So put your skewer through there and go right there. See how they all fit in nice and snug? Okay, so this is just a good way to mark kind of where we're gonna be putting those cuts. Okay, we're gonna start with our duct tape and I find it's easier if I cut all my pieces in advance meaning I'm gonna cut all my pieces first and then I'm going to tape them all to my paper plate. But if you wanna do one at a time, you can. You need a piece of duct tape that's about seven inches long. Okay, to measure how long your tape should be, it should be a little more than half of your skewer. So you get to the halfway point of your skewer and just scooch your fingers down just a little bit farther and that's about as long as your piece of tape needs to be. It's better to do longer than shorter because shorter you'll just have to throw it out. Longer you can always trim it if it's a little bit too long. When you're cutting your duct tape in half, I keep a finger on uh, the right side and a finger on the left side and that way as I'm cutting I can kind of tear them apart or hold them apart with my fingers. And then I'm just going to put this on the, the edge of my table but make sure they don't touch like this or else they will stick to each other. Like I said, they're very sticky. You have a lot of extra duct tape, so if you do the wrong measurement or if it gets stuck to something, just throw it out and you can do another piece. You're gonna need six of these pieces. Once you have six of these, then we can move on to taping our cups to our plate. Okay, so we're gonna line up our cup it's gonna be in the middle of this dot right here and overlapping the rim of this plate just a little bit. Gotta give it some space. And tuck in the tape as much as you can. Yep, there you go. And then it's kind of overlapping the edge of your plate. There, that is 
perfect. You want it kind of lining up with this circle so that you know. Yeah, it doesn't have to be exact, but you just have to think your other one on this side, they're gonna be opposite, and that's pretty good. So do the opposite one right now, the one on the opposite side from that. I find it's easier to put on my tape first and then put my cup on the plate. Yeah. Do you find that too? Yes. Like right here? Yeah. Like right here? Well, you want it facing out. Oh, ding, happy. All right, and then, <laughs> then we're gonna put our other cup right. in there. maker. cups on it. We're going to put that down onto the plate. Okay. You're going to put the tape inside of one of the cups and attach it to the bottom plate. If there's overlap, like right there, you just bring it over. Okay. So I put it inside the cup onto the bottom plate and kind of tucked it around. And you want to make sure these are as symmetrical as possible because then the water will be balanced. Okay, so if the top plate is over here and the bottom plate's over there, you're gonna get a really wobbly water wheel. Remember that circle that was helping us guide our cups that was on the other side, that little recycling circle? So you're going to find that little bump, that little circle that's right there. You see it? And poke it through. And then this part, you have to eyeball it. You see how I'm gonna try and poke it through. It's not quite the middle. I'm gonna move it, not quite the middle. There. Oh, you want to make sure, and you can make a couple of different holes. Is it good? Yeah. If there's too much of a wobble, it might be because the skewer is not straight across enough. And it's, yeah, we did it. It's like straight across. Wow. All the cups are there. Are you it's ready? Like side. Yeah, it's still going to work. Are you ready to try this out in the water? Woo woo! This is gonna be awesome. That means yes. <laughs> that means yes. At home you could do this in a sink or a bathtub. We're gonna go into the kitchen sink with ours. Okay, we're here in the kitchen and we're ready to test the water wheel. And hold on. Woo! That's so like cool! It. Nice! This is awesome! <laughs> It's just like the one at Disneyland, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was so fun, right, it Ella? It was amazing. That is so cool how it turned around in the water. 
Well, good luck today, everybody, with your water wheel. And Bye. we'll see you next time. Bye. that go around we're going to be taping them don't worry they, they didn't always have electricity so they had to create energy <laughs> okay, do you want to do the mark yeah okay yeah. not half grinds up pigment and turns it <laughs> can so that 